Shalom, dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, and a warm welcome to Into the Word. Last Saturday, I shared on the first pillar of Lent, alms giving. Today, I'm sharing with you on the second pillar of Lent, prayer. Prayer is about our relationship with God. It is a personal conversation that we have with God. It is our way of communicating with God. Like any other relationship, it requires time. Some of us are used to praying on the run, but our relationship with God cannot flourish unless we find time to be fully present to God. Speaking and listening to one another, sharing, being in silence or beauty, delight or sorrow. Just like our parents here on earth, our Heavenly Father wants to hear from us when we talk to Him. When we pray, He listens. Then He answers our prayers in the form of thoughts, spiritual feelings, scripture, or even the actions of other people that surround us. Prayer is an important way to experience God as the religious believer can communicate with Him. By bringing our problems to God or asking for forgiveness and help, we come closer to Him. Christians believe we can speak with God in prayer and are taught to pray by Jesus himself. Prayer develops and strengthens our relationship with God. Praying helps us make the right decision. Prayer gives us direction in life. Prayer helps us to avoid temptation with the with and through the power of prayer prayer allows us to be present with god through prayer miracles too can happen coupled with strong and deep faith prayer also energizes the heart of the believer through the power of the Spirit. Consistent prayer also releases the power of God's blessing on us, our life and in all circumstances. When we pray, we are depending on God. When we do not pray, we are depending on ourselves. Pray like it really matters in our life. When we pray, we are walking in faith. Prayer is faith. When we pray, we are also acting upon God's word and we can pray anywhere, at any time, about anything. The beauty of it is God listens to our prayers. This Lent, let's invoke the Holy Spirit to teach us to pray more deeply and fervently. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to guide us in our prayer to God and that we pray with conviction. This Lent, let us also make time to pray for those who have asked us to pray for them, for any special needs, for those who are in war-torn countries, for those who are nearing death, for those who are trapped in some kind of addiction, for our family members, for ourselves, and not forgetting our pets that live with us under our roofs. Jesus taught us the most beautiful prayer, a prayer that is so fulfilling that it pleases God each time we recite it. 
at the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Have a blessed Lent, dear brothers and sisters, and God bless.